We're gonna try to hit this. I'm gonna try to land the tree on that branch. You think I could do it? That's what we're gonna try to hit. That's the product of living in Oregon right there. I heated my house for 15 years with firewood, baby. This cedar has some potential, man. Like, I'm excited to, to, to limb this thing, process it. That is beautiful wood. Guys, ever drop an old cedar log? We're gonna get a mantle going right now. I tried to get a header. Do you know how expensive lumber is? Let's reclaim this standing dead cedar that's no longer standing. It's gonna be a mantle. Here we go. The steps I took to process this log into a mantle are actually quite simple. I'm just using some rudimentary techniques. I'm using a two by four as my edge guide to create my first flat spot so that I don't wander within this log. I don't have a mill, so I'm just going old school and using a chainsaw. After I do this first initial cut, I'll rotate the log. I'll put that two by four or edge guide back onto the tree by using a screw in my screw gun, and I'll use that edge guide again to create a second flat spot at a 90 degree angle. Now during this step, I'm not gonna be perfect. I gotta remove the bark. I gotta get this thing ready to finish it. Now remember, this is rough construction. A chainsaw is not what you use for finished carpentry. I use my draw knife, I use some tools just to remove that bark, and the beauty of this tree really starts to show itself. I had so much fun. Here are the two little legs that are gonna hold up the main part of the mantle and frame out that fireplace. I'm using a hand planer, an electric hand planer. This made short work of removing all of my chainsaw marks. I only needed to do this to the top because my rocks were gonna overlap this a little bit and hide the back anyways. So I just needed to do a really good job planing this and then I sanded it up to 220 grit. I also used my 50 grit metal sanding disc on the front to remove that cambium layer, and I also squared off the edges of this tree. It's starting to resemble a lodge mantle. I can't wait to show you how we install this. You know, what we did is we used some strapping. Let me show you. The strapping is what you use for like earthquake and hurricane ties and building construction. And I just repurposed those to be able to tie in right here into this lumber. Easy one here. Easy, easy I got. How about your way a little bit, Don? A little bit your way. To the right. Right there. Okay, hold it, hold it, Don. You got it? Got it. With the help of my brother and biker Big Don, I had a really easy time installing this mantle. Teamwork makes the dream work, and that's exactly what we did. We used those straps to attach it to any wood we could find, but then we also had some concrete or brick that we had to adhere to. So I went ahead and used a masonry bit to pre-drill, and then we used concrete screws to attach it. Now we made sure and we ran a lot of screws, plus we were gonna lock this in with those legs that supported it, as well as all the rocks and the adhesive that we're using right here to attach everything so it's going to last for years and years to come wow we had a good time doing this check it out by working into the night i was able to get this project done in a day and quick coat was the answer because this is a vertical project it's already installed it's going to have gravity fight that epoxy so i'm using quick coat our stone coat quick coat made this project possible to get done in a day because it's not continually self-leveling i'm able to brush that on i did two coats and i used a brush and my gloved hands to apply it it dried actually in about 30 minutes and i was ready for my next step now depending on humidity and temperature that will vary i needed two coats to really seal this wood but it looked like a grand river lodge i love this centerpiece of the home what do you think guys let me know in the comments below is this a project that you would consider in your own home or what else would you do with a standing dead cedar until next time remember from stone coat countertops you got this i'm mike quist and i'll see you on the next video